स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू टूडे वी विल स्टडी द चैप्टर नंबर वन द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम एंड नाउ वी विल डू द रीडिंग ऑफ डाइजेस्टिव प्रोसेस इन विच प्रोसेस वी विल स्टडी द होल प्रोसेस हाउ डाइजेशन टेक्स प्लेस फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ डाइजेस्टिव प्रोसेस इज क्विक चूइंग द फूड इन टू स्मॉलर पीसेस बिकॉज इट इज स्वेलर्ड वेन वी टेक द फूड इन आवर माउथ द स्लाइवर विल बी एडेड and in the saliva there are enzymes called amylase amylase start to break down the starch food into the type of the soluble sugar called maltose the chew uh, food is pushed down uh, the gullet or esophagus by the waves of muscular contraction with the help of muscular contraction the food will, will be added in a esophagus and like the series of squeezes until it reaches the stomach food will go from your mouth to your stomach even if you stand on your head so definitely the uh, the next uh, uh, step is the food will reach to stomach and food is stored in the stomach for a few hours and the stomach can hold 1.5 liter of food the food is mixed with uh, gastric juice so gastric juice is available in the walls of stomach so it will be added in the food gastric juice contain hydrolic acid and kills most bacteria in the food it also gives the best condition for enzymes so it also uh, uh, that is the best uh, to uh, add the enzymes called pro uh, protease to begin breaking down the protein in the food that is the best purpose of these enzymes is to break down the protein uh, in the food the food is churned around in the stomach for up to 6 hours after a large meal so when we take the meal uh, the up to the 6 hours the food can be um, uh, present in the stomach food is slowly squashed and squeezed along the small intestine then the further step is the food uh, will step out in a small intestine at about 2.5 cm a minute the small intestine is 7 meters long and about 3 cm in diameter in the previous pictures we have studied about this as the food is pushed um, through from the stomach into the small intestine a little at a time bile is uh, squirted onto it bile is made up by um, the liver and is stored in a gall bladder until it is needed bile uh, emulsifies or break up the uh, fats so in this uh, situation the bile is uh, responsible to break down the fats in our body it is also alkaline to make the condition right for the enzymes in the small intestine and uh, the wall of the small intestine produce the enzyme which digest protein carbohydrates and fats so the, these are the three uh, food components which are absorbed by, uh, in the walls of small intestine the pancreas produces three more enzymes which uh, also uh, digest protein carbohydrates and fats the walls of small intestines are not smooth but are covered with the millions of tiny figure like projections they are called uh, villi the villi are perfect for absorbing food so these villi are uh, in this picture we can see the villi the picture of the villi is there and uh, thin uh, uh, and uh, the blood capillaries so these are present so these are the projection uh, wall and the villi are perfect for absorbing the food uh, because they give the small intestine a much larger surface area and they have a thin layer, uh, outer layer of cells and the dense network of blood capillaries so through this uh, in this process the small intestine uh, the, the presence of enzymes uh, they digest the protein uh, carbohydrates and fats and the, uh, the food will become uh, smaller molecules so it can absorb in a blood so students uh, i have read this uh, process and i have prepared uh, some textual question uh, for you people and uh, there are uh, some questions so i will read name the seven groups of food that are needed for the healthy and balanced diet first question is carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins minerals fiber and water 
now the question number 2 is uh, what is uh, digestion and where does it occur the process of di uh, breaking down the food into the smaller molecule is known as digestion and digestion speed up by the chemical call enzymes in the mouth and the food is chewed and the enzymes in the saliva begins the digestion of starch carbs into the uh, simple sugar so question number 4 is why do we need to digest our food what are the two ways in which food is broken down during the digestion we need to digest our food because everything we eat is made of molecules that these molecules are large and these large uh, molecules are energy giving and the body building it is impossible to enter the blood vessels in the mouth uh, in the food is chewed and enzymes in the saliva begins the digestion of the starch into the simpler form and the second is in the stomach proteins are digested with the help of hydrolic acid and enzymes question number 5 is what two jobs are done by saliva the food is chewed and enzymes in the saliva begins the digestion into the uh, sugar a uh, simple form into the sugar and saliva helps to break down of food and convert into the smaller molecule which are energy giving and body building food and saliva help to break down of the food and fats and protein and uh, glucose molecule do not have to be digested starch molecules do explain the difference glucose is needed for the respiration constant supply of the glucose circulate in the blood if there is uh, too much glucose liver converts into the insoluble uh, glycogen and this can be changed into the glucose uh, when it is needed on the other side enzymes which break down starch into the uh, fats and proteins it help for the absorption of the smaller molecules so students uh, rest of the question i will explain in the next video take care bye bye